I walked into Ackermann in The Hague and um, I, uh, I, I, I was greeted by Paul. Paul is one of the, uh, the employees there. One second. And uh, uh, he, um, he, I said, I, I, I see a pen there, and it, it kind of, uh, I like it. And he said, well, yeah, it immediately made me think of you. I got it in yesterday, not, not because of what it, what it, what it symbolizes, what it stands for. Uh, but more so the size, because he he knows I like uh, I like oversized pens. On ten inches. So I was checking it out, and of course it was the Visconti Speak Easy. Now I will not show you the box because I was traveling at the moment. I couldn't bring the box, but it's a large box, fake leather, very luxurious. I had to get rid of it. It's fine. Uh, the pen is definitely big. I just want to show you that before I go any further. This is a Lamy Safari, and this is a D uh, Visconti Speak Easy. Okay, so it's really, really big. Now, the Speak Easy, it refers to uh, the time of the prohibition in the US. You can, you know, sell alcohol, etc. And they would join Speak Easies where they kind of did illegal alcohol stuff. So the theme of the pen is alcohol. And, um, well, that, um, I mean, I was glad that, that Paul didn't actually uh, think that I was, uh, you know, that, that it, it was the alcohol theme. It was the alcohol thing in the... You know. Oh, that did anything. It was just the, the, the fact that it was a big pen that, that made me... Uh, made him think of me. Now, let's cover the parts of the pen. I'll tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And then I'll do a writing sample. Now, the pen comes with a couple of accessories um, that I, I uh, would like to show you. One of them is this uh, very neat Visconti uh, hip flask. Uh, which is useful. Uh, it is it is an actual hip flask. It also one sec. Oh, good stuff. Uh, it also comes with a bunch of um, or paraphernalia to help you out with that. In this cute box, I did save this. Very neat plate. The the speakeasy it says speakeasy. Uh, it comes with a little eyedropper, which will I'll come back to that in a second, and. A little funnel, and of course the funnel. I suppose I don't really have to show you, uh, but the funnel fits into the hip flask. Now, as to the pen, the pen itself has a couple of, of neat features that I would like to share with you. But I'll cover the parts of the pen first. At the top is the Visconti My Pen system, so it's a little magnetic thing, and you can take that off. It's just a small metal with the Visconti logo. You can take it off. You can put on. Uh, gemstones and other stuff in the in the my pen system. I picked this red one. I thought it would go well with the material. It is a celluloid. Uh, it's very pretty. Has very nice marbling, which I really enjoy. And what I really liked was that the clip, sorry, the clip has uh, the word Visconti on there, but the the background enamel is red, uh, as you can see here. And um, uh, I really like that because, of course, it matches the, the rest of the pen. Then you have these trims, and as you may be able to see, the pen has several. Sorry, the cap has several facets, uh, which I uh, I really enjoyed. The barrel itself is round, okay. And then here at the back, things get faceted again. It's also a limited edition pen, and here at the bottom, this is number 77 out of 1,000. Now, interestingly enough, you can unscrew this, and then you may think, oh, it's probably a piston filler. Well, actually, it's not. In here is a sanitized compartment, uh, which holds uh, over six milliliters of your favorite beverage. Nothing in here right now. Um, but that's part of the, 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 the joke of the pen, that you could hide your alcohol, right? Again, prohibition era. The cap unscrews to reveal a large section. Uh, with another nice gold colored, uh, sorry, silver colored ring there, uh, and then these pretty big threads, but they're not really sharp. It is celluloid, it's not metal. This nib looks pretty small, but it's actually a number six nib, which just goes to show the size of the pen. And it is one of those Palladium Dream Touch nibs by Visconti. This is there fine. Okay, now to fill this pen, you unscrew the section, 
and out comes this. This is a converter I added. It's a small Chinese converter because this pen takes standard international cartridges and not much else. Of course, there isn't a lot of space here because you have that reservoir uh, for your booze, basically. Um, so you cannot even fit in a normal Visconti converter. So this is a small sized Chinese converter. That was the only thing I was able to fit in. I am yet to try out a Monteverde mini converter, um, but I thought that even the Caveco converter just didn't fit. There is, I shouldn't have screwed this back in, there is a metal ring in the barrel, which you can see there, which also makes it a little narrower. So it's tough to find something that uh, that will fit. Okay, so what do I like about the pen and what do I dislike? Um, well, there's a couple of things I like about it. Um, first of all, it's, it's very big. And uh, if you're like me and you like an oversized pen, uh, that's pretty neat. So, it really is enormous. And that makes it a lot of fun to use if you like the oversized models. One thing I forgot, I'm sorry, I would like to point that out. I don't know how well you can see this, but maybe you see that Visconti logo here. Uh, and I don't know how close I can get before the camera will, will refuse to focus, but there's a Visconti V. And you see this weird ring which kind of moves a bit. Well, you can move that, and I don't know if you can read this, but that grey window now says whiskey. You can keep rotating it, and you will find all kinds of uh, types of alcohol, sake, cognac, brandy, I think, etc. So you can see what alcohol is in the reservoir. That's a joke. Okay, I was talking about things I like. Well, it's big. Uh, it's a very large pen. I love that. I love the celluloid. The red and blue goes extremely well together. Very nice. Very well polished. It's absolutely stunning. Uh, the Dream Touch nib, I have heard some complaints about. People say they have run into issues. I have had at least one of those nibs that gave me some issues. This is a fine and it's fine. I mean it works perfectly well. Given that this pen only fills with a cartridge or a small converter, I think it might be smart to choose a fine here because I think if you choose a broad or a double broad nib, you're going to be out of ink in no time. Now that of course is the biggest disadvantage. This is an expensive limited edition pen. Uh, I just couldn't resist it, mainly because of the shape and size. Um, but for such an expensive pen to only be able to use cartridges is a shame. And that really, really is. I'm glad I found this small Chinese converter, but I do think that is a big negative. If Visconti were to launch this as a power filler, that would be magnificent. But of course, then it wouldn't be able to have you wouldn't be able to have the uh, hidden uh, alcohol compartment. Of course, if you are very adventurous, what you could do, it holds a little over six milliliters, and it holds liquid. You could put uh, some ink in there. This just barely fits. That's a little bit of a pit. It could have made that a little better, I think, but it kind of stays. You could put in ink. And then if you have a converter like the one I put in there, which is a slide type converter, which you can operate with one hand, of course you could use your pen as a traveling inkwell. Uh, I don't know if you can dip the nib in. We should try it. We're here now. Um, let me see. And the cap, sorry, I'm just fiddling around here off camera. Uh, ta -da -da. There we go. No, the nib does not fit, so you would have to... As I said, this is pretty adventurous. You would have to take a slide-type converter like this, which you can operate with one hand, put that in there, and draw up ink. It is possible. And then your pen would hold a lot of ink, because you have one converter full of ink, and then a good six milliliters of extra ink in the barrel, but of course that's kind of pushing it. So the cartridge issue for me is a big issue. I really think they should uh, consider this model, this size, as a power filler because that would be magnificent. It would hold a tremendous amount of ink and it would just be amazing. Okay, 
Apart from that, of course, there is the high price. As I said, it is not a cheap pen. Um, then again, it is a limited edition. It is a very big pen. And yes, of course, it's gimmicky. It's that simple. Final thing I will say about liking and not liking, it is huge. And I was, uh, I'm, I'm just grabbing a pen pouch here. I happen to have here a Visconti 2 pen pouch. Um, and it doesn't even fit in there. So that's just to show what an enormous pen it is. The only pouch I found, and I just want to share that with you in case you look, you have this pen, you want a pouch, is this Delta. It's a Marchiaro. There, I think it's there. Delta has leather brand. Uh, the pen fits very comfortably in that single pen pouch. So if you're looking for that, that's what you get. Uh, I hope this was useful. Cheers. Mm. Before I forget, and all kinds of people go completely ballistic, I never drink alcohol. So, should you not have guessed, all of this was just water. Alright? Now, let's do a writing sample. Oh, and one thing I wanted to mention, I wanted to specifically mention. I bought this pen, and um, I uh, this um, the hip flask, as you can see, has a little bit of damage there. And Paul, who, sent, who sold the pen to me in Akamon, uh, said, yeah, it's damaged, and I said, yeah, that, that, that's all right. I, as I said, I don't drink, I won't, I won't really use this anyway. Um, he said, okay, but now he emailed me and he said, oh, by the way, uh, I ordered a new hip flask for you. Now that, I would say, is excellent customer service because even though I said, really, it's okay, he went out of his way to get me a new flask to make sure I'm completely happy, which is, you know, a little bit different than your standard 90-day warranty. Now, having said all of that, uh, I hope this was useful. I'm glad to see that there are so many awesome fountain pen shops out there. And uh, let's do a writing sample. Bye! Okay, so here we go with the Visconti Speak Easy. The nib is a fine palladium. And the ink is Ackermann Passage Blau. It hardly fits, but it's on there. Okay, let's do some writing. This is a fine nib. That means that you're going to get some feedback. And usually camera mics pick that up making it sound horribly scratchy while it is not. There is definitely feedback, but there is no unpleasant scratchiness to this. If I do some fast writing, it is a big and fairly heavy pen, so... Uh, you can see that it is uh, definitely uh, keeping up very well, I would say. Um, I am going to give you the uh, measurements because I'm not sure if I've done that so I'll do that in a second for now let me just check the wetness not an ultra wet nib uh, but again it is fine line variation you have to be careful with these palladium nibs because they will spring and I have had issues where the nib is lifted off of the feed and then it won't flow anymore. But especially in a fine nib, if you're a little careful, you can get out some really nice line variation. Okay, reverse writing. There you have it. Uh, it, it's pretty dry, so I wouldn't really recommend using it in that sense, and again, in this case, it's a fine nib, so it wouldn't really make that much sense, I think, to try and do that. All right, well, I hope this was useful. I will give you some quick measurements. Uh, the weight of the pen is 66 grams, 22 of that is in the caps, 44 is in the body. Cap length is 160 millimeters and it, that's 6.29 inches. Uncapped it's 146.8 millimeters and that is um, uh, 5.78 inches. Uh, then we have posted length. I cannot give you that because the pen does not post. 
but it is already huge, so it wouldn't make a difference anyway. Barrel diameter is a whopping 14.4 to 16.8 millimeters, that's 0.56 to 0.66 inches, and the section has a pretty thick uh, diameter of 12 to 13.2 millimeters, that's 0.47 to 0.51 inches. Sorry about the measurements and forgetting them earlier, it was because of all the water I drank. Uh, I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later.